Hey guys, take a minute to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the problem if the new USB-C cable or the USB-C port on the new iPhone 15 Pro is not working for you. Now, there's a couple of reasons why it's not working for you, and you want to follow these tips in order to get it working and running for you. So, first thing is, the new cable that came with the iPhone 15 all lineup is now both sides are USB-C, and the reason why Apple converted to that is that it's just the way they wanted to start doing data transfer and such and you notice here the change of port as well to support that USB-C. Now out of the box you only get this cable and you need to get a wall adapter like this. This is a 20 watt one. I recommend this from Apple. The original one is the best one to work now. Most people might not have this. You might have the 5 uh, watt one for the USB-A cable that's not going to work with this of course because of the cables here so you need to first of all use this cable and buy one of these now there are third parties ones out there they don't really work well even some of the ones from well-known brands out there we see those wall adapters or even the charger cable are not working the way they're supposed to for some reason the way they use or spec I recommend using the 20 watt one even the 30 watt one for some reason didn't work correctly when I was doing some testing so get the 20 watt one even I think the 18 watt one does get it passed so if you're charging your phone this combo it's gonna be the best one Apple original one and the cable itself now the other thing I want to mention is that if you have like one of those hubs or you're trying to come connect it to a computer to charge it it might not charge because it's gonna think that it's uh, enough not enough power being withdrawn so it might think you're trying to do a data transfer so keep that in mind is the wall adapter is going to be the best option now the other option of course you have if you don't want to use the cable and the adapter is if you have a MagSafe wireless charger you can connect it to the MagSafe and charge it that way as an alternate a solution and now the other thing you want to do is if you have the cables and the adapter and still not charging for you you might want to do a force restart on your iPhone in order to do a force restart, the sequence of buttons you have to press, you can press uh, release the volume up, followed by volume down, press and release those quickly, and then finally hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and hold the side button, and you're gonna keep on holding it until the screen goes completely black, and you should see the Apple logo up here. So we're gonna keep on holding it here, and once the Apple logo reappears we'll let go of that button and after you have done that hopefully if there's any software related issue impacting the charging capability it should fix it for you again this method is safe to do it will not delete any of your personal data all we have done is shut down the phone completely and reloading the code in order to make sure everything functions as is now after you have done that it's still not working other thing I recommend is that if you have a case make sure it's not blocking the port so take off the case and try charging it without the case as well that might help you now the other thing you also want to do is if you're still having the issue is go into your setting of your iPhone go to general and see if you can do a software update because there's been a couple updates and iOS 17 has been sort of finicky in terms of the first initial update and Apple has updated multiple updates to fix different bugs and glitches and software issues that they've been experiencing the best thing to do is make sure your phone is up to date if you can update it. if you have enough charge generally you'll need at least 50 percent or more charge which kind of creates a problem because if you're not able to charge it right you won't be able to update it but to tr truly uh, to fix this problem go ahead and update your phone as well so those are the couple things I recommend again the most important feature of this video that we're trying to use is that you want to use a 20 watt one which works the best and the cable that Apple has included in the box itself that will work the best for you third body cables just doesn't cut it out with this new iPhone 15 lineup and that's kind of issue and it's kind of the way it is designed so I hope you guys found this video helpful and it's fixed the issue for you if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time